So somebody asked me to do a tutorial how I made the uh, gum idol and everything on Optimus Prime. Well, I'm going to tell you how. This right here ain't regular paint. This is spray paint that I've got a made a funnel for and I spray paint so much that it dripped down into the uh, thing itself. And what I do is, is I get my, um, I get my big brush, I dip it in there, then what I do is, is I get my rag. And after that, I dent my rag on here and I wipe it off so I can airbrush it. Which is like just going like this really quick over it. But before I do that, I had to make the gun metal. So what I do is I get the metallic black and pearl white. And then for the flames on Optimus Prime, I put a lipstick red. It gives that red, red face. And the yellow parts on this is going to be painted. So. so since we're in that process of making it right now, let's do it. So what you want to do is you're going to open your white pearl. Push it down. Give about two good squeeze. You don't make too much. There you go. Alright, close that up. Grab this. Open it. Okay, good squeeze. Good squeeze. And there we go, two points. Now what you want to do is you're going to grab a regular brush from the side. I have plenty right here. And then you're going to stir that up. As you can see, it's giving that um, gray effect. Sorry if you the camera shaking. I'm holding my camera. Now, here we go. Then once you get your gun metal, you get a big good little glob on there. Pretty like that. And what you want to do is you can come in like this, and then you're going to delicately stroke it. And delicately. Doesn't matter. Just get it all over. Yes, it's turned on me because I'm doing it one hand. Sorry if this is a little bit of light. Okay. Now since you got your uh, paint on there, see the difference? Put them side to side. Uh, uh, one's got gun metal, the other doesn't. Now this looks just like gun metal. I, I don't know how I figured this out, but I did. So, that's what I did. And so, remember, pearl white and metallic black folk art makes it. These are also folk art paint brushes. And I think the red ones are oil paint brushes. And they are, um, if I get this straight, they are Daler Rowney. Ten halves. These are the detailing brushes right here that I like. Nah, I got a whole drawer full of these and things. But, um, these are the detailing ones. And these, this is also a detailing point, fine point detailing point brush. Zoom in there. Uh, point. And this one is just a flat base. Let me get that. Mark. Now, what you just saw me use was another flat base one from folk art it's been used a lot so it looks like that and this is one of my um detailings that's about it and this is for um this one over here is for um this guy what we're doing is i gotta wait for this to dry after it dries i'm gonna put another layer after i put the layer after i put the second layer on then i'll be ready for that I'll zoom here. Since we're waiting, I might as well show off my whole collection. So, first starting off, we got Lockdown, Flat Black, Custom Painting. We got some nice red bricks up in there. We got Galvatron sitting here and it's nice, mighty glowing. We got G1 Grimlock and we got Slug or Sludge, Sludge or whatever. We got Dark of the Moon, Crankcase, and got Slash back in there. We got <laughs> ratchet right there. Got Optimus Prime laying on the ground. 
You got a friend right there. I forgot what his side swipe, whatever. Now yeah, you're probably gonna hate me for this, but you are the Dinobots and Grimlock. Alphonse runs around in Grimlock. Here is Bumblebee right the strafe. There's Slug back there. There is Scorn right there. He is a custom. I made his tail the way it's posable in his barricade. You saw him in the last video. Optimus Prime in his mighty glory. Let me get you a good view up on him. Let me brighten this up just a little. As you can see about the orange I was talking about in my first video. He does have it. Uh, this figure is really lovely. I like it. Here's my Age of Extinction Bumblebee. The High Octane one. Optimus Prime G the G1 cab look is rusty. Got Hound. You got Drift. Yes, yeah, custom painted. And you got crosshairs. Crosshairs. <laughs> believe it or not, but see how this side looks all nice and this one doesn't? I had to repaint that and since this side didn't have it. So then we got all the other guys. We got I think it's skids, mud flap, we got star scream. And my good buddy here I painted to be good looking. We got uh, Human Alliance Bumblebee. Just did a review on him. We got Barricade, the first Dark of the Moon one, and Bumblebee Dark of the Moon. Going at it here. Starscream, G1. Megatron, The Fallen. There's plenty more of them. Just, I gotta display them. We got the kitty down here. See the kitty? And under the bookshelf, we got. <laughs> I forgot what his name was. Uh, Snarl, or something like that. Drift, Helicopter Mode, Jazz, Fall Cybertron, and we got Ironhide out there. Yeah, that's just a, a quick recap on them. See how fast this is drying here. Yeah, the, uh, the video later on the night, it should be all about him. Coming up for Stinger. I got his wheels covered because the, um, I don't want the paint to get on him. Yeah. I think this is dry, isn't it? That's dry. Alright, be right back. Alright, second coat's on. And we're about almost ready for him. We gotta give it a couple more minutes. Till then, let's check out this little head sculpt. This head sculpt on him is very um, unique. Yes. It'll take me a little bit just to get him done, but I got it done. Yeah, I'm leaving the light piping everything open yeah I uh, glued the face mask down so you can see Bumblebee's eye in there blue sorry if I'm shaking it's just I'm really it's really really small detailing uh, but he um he is really um stingers coming out looking good I hated to paint that freaking Autobot red Autobot symbol up but had to be done but yeah he looks phenomenal as the way I liked it so, put that over on the side. Yeah, let that dry. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, yeah, but I got, um, I got plenty of more things to do. I'm probably going to post a video on a couple more Transformer figures. Till the new line comes out. Because the new line, uh, the new wave of, um, the next former Transformer figures, we're going to have a little talk here. And then the next wave is supposed to be uh, when the movie, during the uh, during month of June. So, during the first, uh, June 1st, go to your local Walmart, Target, or Toys R Us. And they should have the second wave of Transformers. And I believe the second wave is going to have Hound, Megatron, and um, the Luxes is going to be Squeaks, Drift, and Steelbane. Now, still Bane, I'm still iffy on, because he doesn't really look that good, though. So, those are your second wave Transformers. Uh, I've been getting details and updates on them all the time. I've been looking for it myself. I've been calling Walmart to check it out. So, we are in biz. I'm waiting for that to dry. <laughs> We're going to need a little bit more gun metal, too, so... Yeah, man, uh, this is how I did it. Just Optimus Prime's consents of these. And that. And this brush. And these brushes. Sooner or later, he will be done. And he will be glorious. 
Until then, I'll be back. I'll post a second video finishing this. Finishing that and that. Finishing the uh, stinger and the um, yeah, his blades, whatever, because i got to get that one done, too. So I'll post a second video on this. So I'll be a uh, one of two video. All right. There you go. There's my whole collection. But I will post a video on the whole collection. But... Deuces.